What's up everyone? Today, to celebrate the release of my new Skillshare class, Shopify Hydrogen, how to create a headless e-commerce storefront with React, I'm gonna cover the four things you need to understand, at least at a beginner level, to get started with developing headless storefronts on the Shopify platform with Hydrogen. But first, a little history. Shopify Hydrogen was first announced at Unite 2021 by Shopify CEO and founder Tobias Lutke. A passionate developer himself, Tobias stated in Shopify's July 21st, 2021 video that JavaScript and React is another tech stack that we think is just about to hit the sweet spot for commerce development. Shopify Hydrogen would finally be released later that year, but it was still pretty new and Shopify were yet to offer a hosting solution to go along with it. Fast forward to mid-2022 and Shopify announced that version one of Hydrogen was now ready and that merchants could host it directly on their Shopify store. But unfortunately, only Shopify Plus merchants. As I mentioned in my last video, since Shopify added Hydrogen as a sales channel within the Shopify store, I became a lot more likely to look into Hydrogen and start building with it, which over the next few months is exactly what I did. Now you can access the four hour class on the subject over on my Skillshare channel, but be warned, this stack brings together a few key technologies. Those four technologies are what we're going to be covering in today's video. So let's get straight into it. Number one on our list is VEAT. This is not a technology you need to have a deep understanding of to work with hydrogen, but it's important to note here as for theme developers, at least we've been used to using the Shopify platform itself or the more modern Shopify CLI to run the storefronts, which have been themes up to this point. But building hydrogen storefronts is different because we're actually building a JavaScript app. This means we need a build tool and a development server and Vite is the perfect tool for the job. Vite provides an extremely fast development environment and bundles your code for production. It's basically a tool to run a modular JavaScript project locally, as well as efficiently bundle it for production. Veet appears to be a no-brainer when compared to the alternatives. I watched a video by this guy where he showed the speed difference of getting started with Create React App versus Veet, and Veet was by far the faster tool for the job. Again, this is not a tool you need to become an expert in. You just need to make sure you have the latest versions of Node and NPM installed and know which commands to run, which you can find, of course, in the package.json file. Number two is React. Of course, given that Shopify is a React-based framework, we need to understand a little bit of React in order to work with Hydrogen, but it is possible to get by on just the basics. When I say the basics, I'm talking about JSX, plus importing, creating, and exporting components. It's not actually that much in order to start working with Hydrogen. This is the benefit of React being a highly modular system. The only packages we really need with Hydrogen are React and Hydrogen. That's it. Hydrogen takes care of virtually everything you need to access data and create your storefront, including routing and data fetching. Which brings me to number three, Hydrogen, the actual React framework that gives this tech stack its name. The Hydrogen framework is just a package you import into your project, one that gives you a range of components and functions that assist in creating a dynamic storefront. These include router components for easy routing, provider components that make things like accessing data from the storefront API, working with the shopping cart, and selecting product variants as simple as possible. That's not to mention the all important use shop query hook, which is what we use to query and collect data from your Shopify store via the storefront API. Which brings me to number four, GraphQL. The best way I can explain what a GraphQL API is, is by comparing it directly with a REST API. If you've used APIs in the past, you're probably familiar with the REST way of doing it. When using a REST API to retrieve data, the location of the data and the specific data set are both determined by the URL. Maybe we wanna access the population of the United States via the Data USA API. In this case, the query parameters of the path after the root domain determines what data we get back. The issue with this approach is that number one, we might have to hit multiple endpoints to get the exact data we want. And number two, we're likely to retrieve additional data that we don't actually need or want. GraphQL APIs solve this issue by providing a single endpoint and allowing us to request the specific data we want via a GraphQL query. The reason why this is important for hydrogen development 
is that the storefront API, the API that we use to access our stored data is a GraphQL API. So you'll need an understanding of GraphQL in order to properly query the API. Luckily, all of this required knowledge is part of the four hour Skillshare class, which is free to access for members of my Patreon community or for new users of Skillshare that use the link below. To provide a little encouragement, I'd say that as someone who had just started learning Hydrogen recently, it's a really fun system once you start to understand it. Even though I'm not typically a React expert, I was able to pick it up quite fast. And I think that's a testament to how Shopify have built the framework and have taken advantage of some of the latest cutting edge features coming out in React. Personally, I'm excited to work on some real life projects with Hydrogen very soon as we start to see the Hydrogen sales channel rolled out to more Shopify tiers other than just Shopify Plus. If you've been following Shopify for a while, they sometimes announce features that never quite come out, but this time it looks as though they're very serious when it comes to Hydrogen. So if you're interested in the four hour class, click on the first link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. Now that I've got the ball rolling on creating Hydrogen videos, you can feel free to comment below and send me through any request for hydrogen related topics. Stay subscribed and I'll see you on the next video.